Hey everyone, so on this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, we're talking about this, which is local remote's 32 millimeter, or can be scaled up to 45 millimeter gauge 3D printable track, and why I think it's actually a pretty cool idea for larger scale trains. So let's talk about it. So if you can't tell, this is a little bit of a continuation of last week's video where I was discussing Polymaker's Polyterra PLA that has come out. If you wanna watch that, I'll have a card that pops out to it. And I have to say this track project, which I printed in the Polyterra PLA is actually a really cool idea. Now, Chris over at Local Remote, based over in the UK, go check him out. He has some really cool stuff. Came up with this as a method for people to create their own trains in small spaces. He has some really, really neat setups on his YouTube channel that I'll link to as well. Totally worth checking out. But I decided, you know what, it'd be cool to build a tiny little switching layout in a larger scale just to have, you know, let friends operate it for my own amusement and things like that. And that's what I did with this. Now, you can't see the full track layout and I'll see what I can do about that. But the cool thing about this is the fact that you can actually print your own track. Now, obviously, I will say that, and this is also a disclaimer that he has, is there's no guarantee that this will work. And obviously, every printer is going to be a little bit different. So you do have to fine tune your settings to get the pieces to fit together properly, especially things like the track switches. You might have to ream a hole out to make it work. But the point is, this is more done as a for fun project and he keeps adding to it over time, which is awesome. Recently, as of the time of filming, he also came out with some rack track. So if you're familiar with um, cog railways, you can do some insane inclines. It's really cool. Now, as for printing this, the Polyterra PLA, what can I say? It, it's really nice. The matte finish of it works really good in this situation because it did not have to do any painting on it to get it to look darker. Now I know some people are gonna go, well, why did you stick with the black? Why didn't you do red? Well, they didn't have any red at the time and I had thought about painting the pieces, but I figured, you know what? I kinda actually like the look of the black. Now, all that being said, a couple of things to keep in mind is because this is a bunch of track segments to print, you don't have the same flexibility that you would have, literally and figuratively, as with a flex track. So just keep that in mind. I had to kind of fudge things a little bit to get this track layout to work. It's not perfect. I understand that, but I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Now, one other thing that's really nice about this is the fact that it's very cheap to make. For somebody like me who models Owen 30 normally, which is 148th narrow gauge, jumping up to 16 millimeter or SM32, is way, way bigger. It is 148 for 0 and 30 versus 120 point something, something. 119, 120, it's about twice as big. And I can tell you, it definitely takes up a lot more space. This was done more of a for fun thing, thinking, well, if it goes anywhere, that's cool. But being that I could print my track really easily and cheaply was nice versus potentially spending a couple hundred dollars on track and switches and then going, oh, yeah, I don't really like this and you're out that much money. So that's really nice. Now, one thing I will say is if you were to use this in an outdoor application, you might want to check if you're going to use something like PLA first. You might want to use a different material. You might not even want to use printed track. That's just something to keep in mind. But for this, this is more likely than not going to stay an indoor project. And it might be used outdoors, but I don't think that's really going to be too big of a deal. I have thought about in the future adding on to this because currently it is just kind of like a half loop here. I might in the future add on to this in the back section and don't worry, there will be more content on this coming, I promise. But I figured I would give you guys just a little intro to this because obviously it's cool to print trains and stuff, but if you don't have anything to run them on, it's kind of pointless. And I promise videos are coming soon on the rail cars. I'm still working on those. I've got some cool stuff in mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mini episode of Make It With Calvin as we dove more into the Polymakers Polyterra PLA and also showcased Chris's super awesome local remote track. Links to all the stuff that I've mentioned down in the description below. And I will see you here next time on Make It With Calvin.